Hello friends, I'm Painting Hyun. In this video, we will be painting these African lily flowers. As you can see this reference photo, these flowers have many many tiny petals, so we are not going to paint detail, just to use Rousseau style. For colors, white, permanent, violet, ultramarine deep, and brilliant. Let's get right into sketch it. First, draw several round circles to make the size of the flower. One, two, and three. Draw the stem. Then locate the center part of the flower. That's enough. We don't need to sketch in more detail. With the paper that is a bit bigger size than flowers. And I'm mixing permanent violet and oh, a bit of white. Apply the mixture of color to the flower area. There is, uh, there is enough water on the paper, so the color spread very well, beautifully. Change a small brush. I mixed ultramarine deep and permanent violet and a bit of white. Draw tiny petals one by one along the shape of the flowers. Draw tiny leaves one by one. Use I'm using a small brush. For the second flower, we will use the same order and method. And also we will draw the third flower in the same order. Until now, we painted the as a second layer. For the third layer, since the paper has almost dried, so we are going to draw a few small petals again using dark and thick bluish purple. Next, draw tiny stem in the middle part of the flower and other part. I take the um, brilliant color. Draw one more, one more time for the center of the flower area, the tiny stems. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm mixing ultramarine deep and permanent violet and a bit of white. So draw our petals again. Draw tiny tiny leaves with the very thick color and I'm mixing ultramarine deep and viridian. Draw a few large leaves in the lower part of the your painting using large brush before I wetted the paper. And look at my brush. So I mean move your brush softly because if you do not, the colors will spread too much freely. But sometimes we can get accidental effect. It's a kind of abstract, right? Okay. I'm using spreader technique, lower part of the painting area and then the top of the painting area. Okay, and clean up the not necessary part that we have spreadered using paper towel. And next, let's draw more petals around the flower as if the petals are flying. Finally, find and draw the place where you can add more depths to the painting. Draw more tiny leaves. Try one more layer with the thick and very strong blushy purple. This color too strong. I so I want to do a spread a bit. Draw stem one more time with a strong um, color. And finally draw uh, flowers far away, far away flowers. One of the flowers here. Alright, today we try the painting complex flowers freely without detailed sketches. Drawing each small petals one by one can be a bit frustrating. It uh, gets boring. 
Is that right? Okay. So we try to draw comparably, leaving some space in the flower area. I hope you like your painting the lizard. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time. Bye.